we need to be able to count significant digits within a number and then round to three sig figs for that number. There's a reason why we choose three sig figs, and that's because in AP we work with three sig figs uh, because that kind of, long story short, three sig figs works great and we won't lose points by answering any question with three significant digits. Okay? So we need to learn to count significant digits in a number. All right? So the way that we do that, I use the Atlantic and, and Pacific rule here. Really straightforward. Okay? Here's the US of A. Right? On the right hand side of the US of A is the Atlantic Ocean, right? On the left side of America is the Pacific Ocean, all right? Somewhere in the middle there in Kansas is a big decimal point, okay? Probably go visit it. Wow. That, nope. <laughs> no, no laughing happened during that joke. Okay. I'm recording this. So, this is how you, this is how you count digits in a number. Okay, if decimal point is present, start at the Pacific side. Okay, so Pacific, if decimal point is present, okay, you start, decimal point is absent on the Atlantic side of the number. Okay, so that just means you're either starting on the right hand side of the number or the left hand side of the number. Okay. And as you go and you start counting the numbers inside the number, there's two caveats to this. Number one, never start counting with zeros. They don't, they don't count. They're just placeholders. Okay? And once you start counting, which means once you get to a number, one through nine, an integer, once you get through one through nine, you never stop counting. You keep going. Right? Come on, here we go. Okay? Right? So you never stop counting. So start counting, you never stop. Never can start at zero. So I've got two examples right down here below. Okay, down below here, if the decimal point is present, so there's my number. Okay, just so you can see that. Zoom in on a little bit. All right? We've got our number 0 0.00010. So as I'm going, decimal point is present. I start on the left-hand side of the number. Nope, 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 nope. One, two, I'm out of numbers. So there are two significant figures there. Once I start counting, the zeros count. Okay. okay. Prior to that, though, zeros are just placeholders. Okay. Once you start counting, you never stop. Zero through nine, count them all up. Down in the next number here, so if the decimal point is absent, there's no decimal point there, so we start on the Atlantic side or the right-hand side of the number. No, 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 one, two, three significant digits there, okay? So the six bits here are these three, and those two for that one, okay? This is a nice link for you if you want to go there. There's more practice and more rules there. We're, we're going to practice some your counting as well. Uh, but there's a bunch of penchemistry.com's got some nice stuff. Even has a list a couple of videos on there and stuff too. Yes. Yes. Once you start counting, you never stop. You keep on going. Okay. So, like for example, uh, there's no decimal point up there for that number. But let's let's go to our our worksheet, right? Like if we flip back to our scientific notation, if you go down, if you flip your sheet over, I'll go to the back side where there's sig fig practice. Okay, we just want to count number of sig figs and each number on the left. All right. So we have a decimal point present. What other number do we count? Do we start with present left? Start on the Pacific side, right? Left hand side. 
right? And I'm looking, there's a zero, zero, zero. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six numbers. Six significant figures there. But if we go to the next one here, no decimal point present. All right, start on the right hand side. Nope, there's a zero, zero, one, two, three, four, five. There are five, six things there, right there, those five numbers. Okay. All right, do the next three. Three minutes to do the next three. Okay, so 0.59999, decimal point present, so zero, one, two, three, four, four of those, okay, if I look at the next number, there's a decimal point there, if I start on the left hand side, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, this next number, 126,005, there is no decimal point, so I start on the right-hand side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Okay, great. This is the most important thing we're going to be able to do, that we need to be able to do. Okay, you got to be able to look at a number. You've got to be able to take a number and round it to three significant figures, because that's how I'm going to ask you to, any calculations you do, uh, all that sort of stuff, I want rounded to three sig figs, unless otherwise noted. Okay? The only other time that might happen is when we use like maybe the analytical balances or something. And they're gonna give us a lot of they're gonna give us four decimals past the uh, you know past the decimal point when we're measuring really small changes in mass. So we might need all of those numbers. Okay. So but in any event, three sig figs. But I want to round this to three sig figs. Let's start with this number down on the bottom first. Let's start with this one right here. I want to round that to three, three sig figs. What do I need to do here? What do you think? Let me just put down, and we'll go from there. All right, 126,005. I want to get the three sig figs here. 126,000 is the number. Okay, I just rounded down. Now, if you just put 126, it's no good. That's why we got to keep the zeros. They hold places, right? Because 126 is a whole lot different from 126,000, right? So the zeros don't count here, though, because there's no decimal there, right? They're just holding the place, and that's one, two, three. You could also do this. 1.26 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Could do that too. Could scientific notation it. And go right there. All right. All right. What about the next number? Well, either one. Uh, let's move up from there. Let's go up from there. Michael? What's the problem with that number? A five sig fig still. What's the problem with it? What can we get rid of? I would get rid of, whoops, I don't know why that moved around so much. I would get rid of the zeros and the decimal, just get rid of it, the whole thing. Round it to 34. Three sig figs. This 
on a quick note, though, some that has three sig figs would be, uh, just for example, say you went 230 point, so the decimal point right there, that has three sig figs, right? So pretty present. Start counting on the left-hand side. One, two, three. Okay. Throw that out there. Okay. The next one, point five nine 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 nine. Miles Christensen. Yes, indeed, that works. That works. Sig figs there. I had to round it up though. Could just leave it as point five nine nine. You got a round. Okay. Uh, what about this six million number here? Randy Bartolo, what'd you have? Six. That works. That's great. What about regular notation? What'd you guys do? Mm -hmm. I meant you. Uh, yeah, I know what you meant. Yep. Okay. Good. Or do I need one more zero? No, that's good, right? Four zeros. Okay. All right, and the very last one, oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that up on the board because I'm all zoomed in. Okay, the very last one. Kylie, what'd you, Kylie, what'd you have for this one? 0 0.0047. What'd you have? Nine? Okay. Great. Now we're trying. Okay. There you go. All right, so sig figs are as easy as America with the big decimal point in Kansas. Okay? All right, good job. Sit for sig fig.